Welcome to a new episode with Not Vikings. Hey, I feel it. <laughs> In this one, we sail to St. Martin and buy a new tender. After some challenging times in Martinique, we tried making life better on board. And highest up on that list was a good and solid dinghy. A dinghy that didn't live up to the name Sir Pompalot. Nice job! Let's go! We sailed up to St. Martin and the first impression of coming there was loud and busy. Then, the hunt could begin. We looked at lots of different dinghies and what we knew we wanted was a hard bottom to make beach landings easier. It also needed to be lightweight and to fit on our foredeck. Hypalon was a wish but not a must. And of course the price needed to be right. It took a few days but then we finally found what we were looking for. We decided to pull the trigger and uh, get a new dinghy. So we're getting a 3D tender, ultralight, 250, and we're paying full price. So you'll hear our honest and true opinion about it. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Okay, I'll take a look at the door. Yeah, I will take a look at the door. As you could hear on my high-pitched voice, I was just as excited as Leo. Thanks to our Brazilian friends on the boat Katush, we got a better price on the dinghies and they also helped us finding a new home for our old Sir Pompalog. Thanks a lot, Lucas and Nato. A little promenade. You just pumped it. Yeah. Okay. I go get our Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice deal. Yeah, I have to the Brazilian charm. Yeah. Bye bye, Brazilian charm. Oh, what a difference this will make. had the dinghy for over a year and we are so happy with it. Life is so much easier and more fun. Before everything got wet inside the dinghy but now it doesn't and that makes for example grocery shopping less of a challenge.
Thanks to our new dinghy, we've been able to do excursions we couldn't do before. Plus, I feel 10 times safer in our new one. Also, our guests that have come and visited. When you told me you were not in the marina, I got a little scared. Because I remember going back with all the bags and the kids and everything and feeling we're gonna sink. In the old dinghy, it was bad. And I, you know, going in, you're like, oh, I have to go pump the floor first. Oh, it's a little water sinking in. It was scary. Yeah, so I just want to say that was, I don't know, such a relief. And then we've had so much fun just today when me and Stephanie went on our own little trip. We couldn't have done it, you said, if we would have been the only thing. The only thing we aren't happy about is that the non-skid patches on the bottom started to come loose after only about six months. And we had to re-glue it. But all in all, it's a great dinghy and we are very satisfied with it.